Mastering the Art of Describing Locations in English Hello, learners! Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to tackle a very exciting aspect of conversational English. Describing the location of a place. It's not just about telling where something is, but also painting a vivid picture of its surroundings. Are you ready to learn? Let's dive in! First things first, we must understand some basic directional terms. These are words we use every day to point out a place's location. North, South, East, West, and variations like Northeast, Southwest, and so on. They also include terms like upstairs, downstairs, next to, across from, near, far, behind, in front of, and many more. Examples 1. The park is north of the city. 2. My house is next to the library. 3. The coffee shop is across from the bus stop. Prepositions of place are key when describing the location of a place. These include words like at, in, on, by, between, and others. They help you explain where something is in relation to something else. Examples 1. The bakery is on Main Street. 2. My office is in a tall building. 3. The museum is between the bank and the school. Beyond specific location, you also want to describe a place's surroundings. This can involve other buildings, natural features, or notable landmarks. Examples 1. The restaurant is located in a busy downtown area, surrounded by shops and cafes. 2. Our school is near the river, with a beautiful view of the water. 3. The stadium is right next to the city park, so it's easy to find. Let's do a quick exercise. Try to describe the location of these places. 1. Your home. 2. Your favorite shop or cafe. 3. A famous landmark in your city. Remember to use directional terms, prepositions of place, and describe the surroundings. That's all for today, learners. Now you know how to describe the location of a place in English effectively. Keep practicing these skills, and soon enough, you'll find it second nature to provide detailed descriptions of any place. Stay tuned for our next lesson, where we'll dive deeper into the world of conversational English. Happy learning!